video on sleep as it relates to light. We've lost our connection and our relationship to the elements. So earth, air, water, and fire. We don't really know how to interact with them anymore. We don't know how to communicate with them, how to take them into our system and to work with them in a balanced way. When it comes to light, light regulates our circadian rhythm. So we're diurnal beings, which means that we're active during the day. We're not, we're not nocturnal, we're not like bats or cockroaches that operate at night, or like parasites that breed at night and party at night. Although that's kind of what we've become. There's been a lot of studies on light and its connection to obesity, depression, metabolic syndrome, mental dysfunction, poor sleep, poor mood, all sorts of stuff. So if you want to get back on track with your relationship with light and improve your sleep and really all sorts of things, so think of it this way, melatonin is a master, master hormone. It regulates a lot of things in the body. And that's produced at night in the dark by our pineal gland. This little pea-sized gland in the center of our brain. Sometimes it's called the third eye. <clears throat> it's kind of like our interdimensional gland. That's it's what opens in the dark and it shuts in the light. So that's how a lot of people have spiritual visions is when they're in darkness or meditating with the eyes shut, that little gland with rods and cones and photoreceptors, just like our eyes, same technology, but it's a gland in the center of our head. That gland's very important to nourish and to take care of, just like all our glands, because the glands regulate our body, the endocrine system, the thyroid gland, the adrenal glands. All these glands are often overlooked when it's kind of like they're conducting the orchestra of the body. They're the organizing force of all of our hormones and a lot of our chemicals that are released. And these glands can get plugged, they can get toxic, they can get overworked, and then they stop working. And when that happens, we have problems. So this video is focused on the pineal gland, which secretes melatonin, the master hormone, in the dark. So if you want to get back on track, what you do is, first thing in the morning, or as early as you can, you get outside, and you look up at the sun, not directly we're not talking about sun gazing, just look towards it. That light will send signals to your brain that it's daytime. And that's one of the best ways, forget coffee, it's one of the best ways to start your day. At night, what you do is, if you can, you get blackout curtains. I built a little, I bought a foam board, and I took aluminum foil and I made this panel. Really easy to do, just cut, you know, use a use an X-Acto knife and tape and make a little board for your window that fits right in there. That's what I did. It cost me about 10 bucks to do that. Otherwise, the blackout curtains are, you know, upwards of $50 or more. Or a lot of people use the eye masks. The only thing with those is that there's something on your face. I don't like anything on me when I sleep, so. That is an option though, if you can sleep like that, that's great. They make one called Mindfold that has actually the eyes, little circles cut out of the foam, so there's not pressing up against your eye, but I still don't like the band on my head, so what I do is I black out my room so that I can't even see my hand in front of my face. It's that dark. Any LEDs, I get electrical tape and I put them on the LEDs because the smallest amount of light will reach you even go, go through your skin. A small amount of light will, will close your pineal gland solid. So that means that you can't enter these other realms while you sleep, which, are, which is very important for regeneration. 
another very good trick for light, and this is a huge, huge booby trap, is staring at screens. So staring at a computer screen, I don't care what kind of screen, iPad, smartphone, and we stare at these screens, you gotta think. So you're lying in bed, you're about to go to sleep, and you're texting, or whatever, and you're staring at it, and it's this bright light. And you could even turn it down full, you know, to the lowest, still bright lights, and it's a blue spectrum of light, and this is the key to this whole video. Blue spectrum of light, you know, like the sunlight, it contains all the colors, right? But blue is the one that disrupts the master hormone melatonin so this is tying it all together blue light is a booby trap at night during the day it is our savior one trick you can do is to get these eight dollar glasses uvex makes these you can find them on amazon they're amber colored glasses and what they do is they block out the blue spectrum of light so that instead of having to wait four hours for your body to produce melatonin, it doesn't disrupt it at all. So that your body starts producing melatonin when it's when you put these glasses on, basically when it's when it's supposed to. So our circadian rhythm is like a wave. So in the morning, we have a rise in cortisol. If you're not working a graveyard shift or staying up late all the time, 2, 3, 4 a.m. This is one of the most important things you can do for your health is to get your circadian rhythm on track, your sleep cycle, your sleep-wake cycle. So in the morning, our body produces cortisol and that wakes us up. And that usually happens around 7 a.m. or so. And that's when it spikes. And then at night, our cortisol is supposed to decrease as we wind down and get ready for sleep and our melatonin is supposed to increase. Not only do we live in a stress-filled system, so our, our cortisol is all out of whack, especially watching movies, playing video games, having drama in our life. That constant feed of cortisol coupled with the disruption of melatonin from blue light is a recipe for disaster. Health is a lot more than diet. Are you vegan, are you vegetarian, are you raw vegan, are you paleo, are you breatharian, who cares? How about get your environment right? How about look at light, water, and magnetism as important keys of health and look at your relationship to those things? What kind of water are you drinking? Are you bathing in EMFs all day? Are you getting any sunlight? Are you bathing yourself in light during the nighttime? These are all important questions to ask that go far beyond nutrition. Our environment shapes our body. It's very important to understand that. Try the experiment. Try, these, try this $8 experiment. After the sun goes down, put these glasses on. You don't want to wear them during the day though because you're trying to get blue light. And yeah, things will look a little tinted. Who cares? And try wearing them for a month. I've been doing this for about a year now. It's made a world of difference to how I feel. There's a lot of studies on this, so I'll link them below. This is legitimate information. And something to definitely experiment with because when you think about it how long have we had these screens I mean less than 50 years how long have we been in these bodies about 200,000 years for how much of that time have we been diurnal creatures okay let's say about 99.99 percent .99 of the time so to think that we can just switch to this nocturnal mode it's a little insane and kind of compounds the problem when we're drinking blood 
and doing all sorts of other weird things. Try the experiment. What have you got to lose? Just look a little weird. They sell ones that look a little less like a construction worker you can find online. I'll put a link below to a little test you can do. You can pull up a little blue panel and you can look at it with your glasses and it'll look black if your glasses are working. This is brand new but common sense information and I'm sure more of this types of information will become apparent as we kind of become more conscious of how we're living. Please comment, thumbs up this video, and subscribe. And watch your relationship to light.